She was celebrating with her friends, and moments later, she was gone. Tonight, mourning the shocking and sudden loss of a 16-year-old field hockey player. There was really no warning. Casey Dunn died suddenly of a brain hemorrhage. Now her family, her friends, her classmates are grieving while also trying to celebrate the life that she lived. Jim Smith is live at Noble and Greeno in Dedham tonight. Jim. David, this entire school community is in shock tonight. You can see the flag at half staff behind me as everybody struggles to cope with the sudden loss of this young, gifted student athlete who had her whole life in front of her. She was the light of our life and kind of the glue of everyone. Casey Dunn was only 16 years old, and her mother Mary still can't believe her daughter is gone. I keep on thinking she's going to come bounding in through the back door. Um, and say this is all just a terrible joke, but I know that's not going to happen. Casey was playing field hockey last Friday at Noble and Greeno School, suffering a massive brain hemorrhage right at the start of practice. It was probably something she was born with, but we never knew about it, and there's no way to detect it. Um, and fortunately, it was quick, um, and she didn't suffer too much. Right over here. It was right in this area. Head of school Robert Henderson says there wasn't anything anybody could do. It was just that quick. She uh, turned to a friend and said that she didn't feel well, and uh, next thing everyone knew she was on the ground. It happened so swiftly. It was a massive brain bleed, and uh, there really wasn't much that anybody could do. Casey loved ducks, and that's now the theme of a growing memorial set up by heartbroken classmates. Her mom draws strength from this final picture of Casey, taken minutes before she was stricken. Totally embodies Casey, that is pure Casey, pure joy. She was pure joy. And um, the thing about that picture is that it was taken half an hour before she collapsed. And for me, it acts as a source of comfort because I knew that she was happy. She was um, with the people that she loved, her team. Tomorrow will be. Uh counseling day, if you will, here at uh, Noble and Greeno School for any student who needs it. K uh, young Casey was from Wellesley. Her wake is going to be held on Wednesday, her funeral mass on Thursday. Live in Dedham, Jim Smith, WBZ News.